first of all um, let's check our business workplace there's nothing there right so make sure it's clean because uh, we should expect that from the business workplace based on the workflow that runs uh, now first I will receive an email that says start processing for happy job right then next I should expect to see a work item that the PSA pause and I should be able to click to continue then after that I should finally see an email that says completed for happy job right so the pause and the completed for happy john is inside the sub workflow so this is how it's going to go right so let's get started click to play and let's look at where we are now so at the main we are at the main workflow here and you can see that this uh, set name is already executed set to happy john okay and email has been sent so if I go to my business workplace now, I should see an email that says start processing for John appearing there, right? So yes, it's appearing here. So start processing for happy John, right? So good, I have that. And uh, now let's go in. Inside this workflow, what happened? So we click on this, make sure you click on this and then now you go graphic. And you choose current level you should be able to see the sub workflow now so you can see that we are at now at the sub workflow the expiry date has been set and it's set to 25th okay go down and I'm at this step pausing right so I should be able to see from my business workplace that uh, this pause is there okay yes it's here right and I double click on it and I say click to continue processing right now if I say click continue processing what's going to happen is that um, let's uh, go to the go back to the main workflow first right so we're going to get out from here we're going to get out now we can see that at the main workflow the whole thing has been completed in fact right so the host the sub workflow is completed and the main workflow is completed so let, let's let's have a little bit of examination on the sub workflow uh, how it goes all right so I have to click on this make sure I click on this you know to see and click on graphic and click current and this is how we we'll be able to see the sub workflow now you can see that in the sub workflow uh, an email has been sent to say uh, processing completed for happy john right so uh, and by the way the loop didn't go through because 31st Jan is today's date and expiry date has been set to 25th therefore it will not loop and it comes down straight here to send that email so in our business workplace we should see that email so let's go and have a look at our business workplace and see whether that email has came in or not yes you can see that it has come in processing completed and completed for happy john right so that has come in that's true and the sub workflow completed also right so if we get back um so that basically concludes that the whole workflow has completed properly and we are seeing all the activity happening so this basically highlight to you how you can do a nested workflow using workflow template so the work sub workflow is called workflow template in this case um, in SAP right so that's about it thanks